Hi guys, Aris, Hardware Busters. Corsair released today the Commander Core XT. It is this device. What does it do? Briefly, with this device you can control up to 6 case fans along with lighting for multiple RGB components. To be more specific, it can control up to 6 PWM fans and it also has a 0 RPM mode to keep low noise low. Regarding RGB, the Commander Core XT can control up to 264 RGB LEDs so that you can hook up RGB fans or other RGB devices including light strips and other stuff featuring RGB lighting. If 6 now RGB fans are not enough for you, you can also connect an RGB fan LED hub. An interesting feature is intelligent fan detection. The Commander Core XT automatically detects any combination of up to 6 Corsair RGB fans with 4 pin connectors such as the ML RGB Elite, ML LGB, SP RGB Elite, SP RGB Pro even the Corsair CXF PSUs are recognized so setting up RGB lighting becomes easier I guess every time you connect a new fan you will have to run the automatic detection or configure it manually the Commander comes with two temperature sensors which can be checked through the IQ software. Other features include a USB 2 pass-through port which can be used for internal USB devices like digital PSUs, Corsair AX1600i or compatible Corsair coolers. The Commander Core XT has embedded magnets for easy installation and it's slim profile yeah it's quite slim as you can see it won't trouble you much not everything is perfect though with this device i don't like that it cannot control three pin fans but only four pin pwm ones if you connect a three pin fan it will run at full speed all the time i don't like that it costs 10 bucks lower than the Commander Pro, $60 instead of $70 that Commander Pro goes for, but the latter can control 3-pin fans as well. Also, the Commander Pro can take up to 4 temperature sensors and has 2 USB headers, but it doesn't have the RGB fan channels that the Commander Core XT offers. Basically, the Commander Core XT is a Commander Pro with an embedded RGB fan LED hub, having two temperature channels and one USB port less, and it cannot control 3-pin fans. Now, if you have RGB 4-pin fans, which is the case for most users nowadays, you should prefer it over the Commander Pro. I have made a custom application which I call PQ for the Commander Pro. PQ allows you to change fan speed easily. I will provide the link in the description of this video. IQ offers lots of options but it is not so easy to use and it also takes over huge storage space, 2.52 GB. So PQ is a nice alternative if you don't need all these functions that uh, IQ offers. Note, PQ is not compatible with the Commander Core XT. I'm sorry for that. If I find some time, I will try to make it compatible with the Commander Core XT, although I don't want to integrate all this RGB functionality. Anyway, this was another video by Hardware Busters International. Yes, Eddie has a question. No, two. Ah, okay. Shoot. Okay. Um, I didn't get it right whether this Corsair Commander is compatible only with Corsair products. Uh, no, it can also control other ALGB fans, but 
it won't uh, be able to automatically detect them. You will, you will have to manually configure every other fan you install here. But it's it not, compatible. yeah, it's not difficult to do so, but automatically detection, uh, detecting something, yeah, it's way easier. Okay, so the other question is again about that thing, of course. Um, you mentioned that it has embedded magnets. Yes. Okay. Do they not interfere with other... No, no, no. They, they, they are not so strong, so you won't have any electromagnetic uh, issues. Okay. Those are the two ones. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.